Hey guys, welcome back to Hoops Junction, where Hoops meets Hoopla. Today we're going to be breaking down my top five dead or alive pickup team. T5 DOA. I like Jada Kiss. If you haven't picked up that mixtape, I would definitely suggest that you go get it. So, at my point guard, I'm going to go with Magic Johnson. Magic Irvin Johnson. He's my starting point guard for many reasons. You know, he's a three-time NBA MVP. He's won five NBA championships. And Magic Johnson just knows how to run the team at a high, optimal level. Throughout his whole career, he's just known how to run a team. Even with the Dream Team, you know, he was a taskmaster, and he was able to make things easy for other players. So that's, that's very key. And that's something that you need on a team. You need somebody that can run the team easily, be the taskmaster, keep everyone on point, and let them know what they're having to do. One of the things that you got to understand about Magic Johnson, he's one of the few point guards that was able to get his teammates easy buckets. Like When I mean easy buckets, I mean all layups. If you watch the Showtime Lakers, he's either getting his teammates dunks or layups. They're rarely shooting any jumpers. So for that, I definitely have to have Magic Johnson as my starting point guard. A lot of people say they would have Oscar Robinson for the season that he had where he averaged all those triple doubles. And, you know, I can't fault that. But my thing with Oscar Robinson is uh, he has a bit of a rebellious nature. And you can see, like, the way when he talks and how he interacts with his teammates and former teammates. And when he talks about the past, it's just like, there's, there's something there that kind of rubs me the wrong way. I don't think I will definitely want him on the team. So I think Magic has a better personality. He'll be able to gel with other players that I'm putting together on this team. Because when I'm talking about my top five, I'm not automatically thinking they're going to go ahead and go in there and just be friends or get along. You know, I'm, I'm factoring in chemistry. So I don't know if you guys factor that in when you do your top five. Because just because you put a bunch of players together doesn't mean they're going to play well together. True and guard, I got to go with Michael Jeffrey Jordan. You know, what more can I say about Michael that hasn't been said? Six times been to the NBA Finals, six times came down with a trophy. He's, a, he's clutch. He's defensively sound, offensively sound. His, his mechanics were great. His fundamentals were great. He's a, he was a freak of nature. He's physically gifted. And he was just completely basketball gifted. Like they, they would teach him something and he would just master it within, you know, days or weeks. I mean, the guy was great. There's nothing else I can say about him. You know, Michael Jordan is easily my shooting guard. Small forward, it was a bit tougher. But I'm going to go with Larry Bird. One of the things about Larry Bird that a lot of people don't understand is there was not a big difference between Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. The only difference was one player was able to be healthier than the other. Larry pretty much screwed up his career because he didn't want to hire somebody to landscape his mother's driveway. He wanted to do it himself. And in the process, he screwed up his back, which was not a smart move. It shortened his career. I'm pretty sure if Larry played a little longer, he would have just as many championships as Magic Johnson did. So, with that being said, you know, I'm going to go with Larry as my small forward. You know, the guy's three-time NBA MVP. He's won multiple titles. He's he's a shooter. And on a team, you need somebody to be able to space the floor. Magic wasn't really a shooter. Later in his career, he got better at shooting, but he wasn't really a shooter. Matt, Michael Jordan, he's he's a mid-range shooting guy, but I need a three-point shooter on my team. I need somebody to spread the floor. And for that, I'm going to go with Larry Bird. You know, I chose him over LeBron James, you know, because LeBron, although he's like a passer, and he cause he's, he's like a jack-of-all-trades, and he's really, really great, I like Larry's shooting touch better. I like Larry's mentality better over LeBron James' mentality. If you look at all of Larry Bird's, old footage he just had that I don't give a fuck mentality like he just didn't care he just was ready to do whatever he had to do in order to win you know he was telling guys I'm gonna shoot this in your effing face and he really shot it in your effing face so right then and there you know Larry has to go there Larry the legend you know 
and don't sleep on him. Like I said, if he if he would have played, if he was healthy, if he paid somebody to landscape his mother's driveway, maybe we'll have a, be having a different discussion about Larry. Maybe he'll have you know five or six titles. Power forward, and I'm gonna keep it traditional. When I mean power forward, I mean a power forward. So guess who I'm going with? Not Kevin McHale. Not Bill Russell. I'm not moving Bill Russell to the power forward spot. Sorry, Reggie. There's no Reggie rules here at Hoops Junction. I'm going to go with Tim Duncan. Yes, Tim Duncan. Five-time NBA champion. Two-time NBA MVP. Mr. Fundamentals. And that's what I need on a team. I needed somebody to bring fundamentals. Larry, fundamentally sound. Magic, fundamentally sound. Jordan, fundamentally sound. Tim Duncan, fundamentally sound. That's what I need. I need somebody that could grab rebounds, block shots. I mean, Tim Duncan came into the league, and he completely shut things down with his prowess and his ability to play. I mean, the guy was incredible. And to this day, he's you know, about 37, 38 years old, and he's still playing on an optimal level. I mean, the guy doesn't, he doesn't age when it comes to his game, and the things that he does... He did when he was younger. He could do it today as he's older because he had to change his game due to a, a knee injury. So with that, I'm going with Tim Duncan. I, you know, I'm sorry, Kevin McHale. You know, I know you had up and under moves and you were great with everything and your footwork. And sorry, Charles. Sorry, Carl Malone. But Tim Duncan had the size. He can pass. He could just he could do everything that I need him to do on my team. Last but not least, at the center position, I'm gonna go. With Wilt Chamberlain. Yes, Wilt Chamberlain over Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Wilt Chamberlain over Bill Russell. Here's the thing that you got to understand. Bill Russell is the only player to average 30 points for his entire career. 30.1 points for his entire career. The only other player to do that. So, excuse me. He's the only two players to be able to do this. Him and Michael Jordan. So right then and there, offensively, I'm all set at the center position. You know, like, a lot of people make big deals about Bill Russell having more rings than Will Chamberlain. Well, Bill Russell was always on the better team. You know, one player doesn't make a team. You see what I'm saying? Bill Russell always had, like, the stacked teams while Will, you know, he played, he played with Jerry West. But other than that, like, his team was as good, you know, like the bench and everything like that compared to Bill Russell's teams. Because what they don't mention to you is, even though Bill Russell has more rings, every time Wilt played against Bill Russell's Celtics, Wilt will score more and average more rebounds than, than Bill Russell. So right then and there, you know, that the end that ends that for me. And another thing is, Bill Russell had a se- I mean, Wilt Chamberlain had a season where he averaged 50 points the entire season. <laughs> the guy scored 100 points in a game. I mean, I have to have him in, in as my starting center, he was one of the first players to actually start lifting weights. He lifted with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, the guy bench pressed 500. You know, he bench pressed 500 pounds once. You know what I mean? The guy was between 275 pounds and 300 pounds, and it wasn't like fat; it was muscle. So you, you, you gotta, I gotta have that in there. You know, put him with uh, Tim Duncan. Oh, man, you're not getting in the paint at all. You're not getting in the paint. And a lot of people don't remember, Bill Russell was undersized. Will is 7'1", so, and his wingspan was ridiculous. So I'm going with Will Chamberlain. So that's my top five dead or alive pickup team. I feel like they're unbeatable. If you got one that you, th- you think they could beat my team, you know, let me know it below in the comments. But that's my team. I got Magic at the point, Jordan, shooting guard, Larry Bird, Small forward, Tim Duncan power forward, and Wilt the still as my center. So let me know what your starting five is. Comment below, like, and subscribe. Hoops Junction, where hoops meets hoopla. Vladimir, I'm out. Peace.